<laughs> now where am I? Oh, we're gonna get to go kill Andrew Ryan. Yes! I'll get a kill with Daisy the crowbar. I mean Daisy the the wrench. Even in the book of lies, sometimes you find truth. There is indeed a season for all things. And now that I see you flesh to flesh and blood to blood, I know I cannot raise my hand against you. But know this. You are my greatest disappointment. Does your master hear me? Atlas? You can kill me, but you will never have my city! My strength is not in steel and fire. That is what the parasites will never understand. A season for all things. A time to live and a time to die. A time to build and a time to destroy! Ah, oh, shit. Come now, my child. There is one final thing to discuss. <laughs> what? Ryan set the core to self-destruct. This is different than what you did. He's got a mind to take down the whole damn city. Get in there and whack the chunk before the whole joint blows. All right, calm down. I want to listen to this audio diary first. <laughs> Initial deployment, Vita Chamber. Client Ryan Industries, a stage one, each complete. Sinclair and Alexander try to explain the science to me, but Suchan does not believe them. They keep saying plasmid reconstruction this and quantum entanglement that, and then poof, dead people come back to life. Bullshit. Of course. Ryan will only allow it to be tuned to his genetic frequencies for the testing. I guess it's very much of a bad idea to listen to audio diaries while this place is blowing up. You vent. Ah, let's see what we've got here. We've got nothing, we've got a dead guy. We got a U vent. Yes! This U vent something. I can't U vent much. Oh well. Hmm. Welcome to the value. Yes, thank you very much for that. It's a bit darker at the moment because well, all the lights have gone off. Oh, we're gonna go into a dark tunnel. No, don't worry. I have Daisy with me. Daisy will protect me. Would kill you kindly. Would you kindly? Okay. Mysterious man. And we got a couple of audio diaries, which I say is a bad idea. <laughs> All right, come on, let's listen to the audio diaries. Okay. Did you talk to your puppy? She's very pretty. Thank you, Papa Sushan. Break her neck for me. What? Break that sweet puppy's neck. No, please. Break that puppy's neck. Would you kindly? No. No. Okay, uh, breaking puppies' necks. Nice. I call that classy. Now, where the hell am I going? Hello. Assassin has overcome my final defense, and now he's come to murder me. In the end, what separates a man from a slave? Money. Power, 
No, a man chooses. A slave obeys. You think you have memories. A farm, a family, an airplane, a crash. And then this place. Was there really a family? Did that airplane crash? Or was it hijacked? Forced down. Forced down by something less than a man. Something bred to sleepwalk through life until they are activated by a simple phrase spoken by their kindly master. Was a man sent to kill? Or a slave? A man chooses. A slave obeys. Come in. Stop, would you kindly? Would you kindly? Powerful phrase. Familiar phrase. Would you kindly? Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find that? Would you kindly find Would you kindly get this? Would you kindly head to Ryan's office and kill the son of a bitch? Sit. Would you kindly? Stand. Would you kindly? Run. Stop. Turn. A man chooses. A slave obeys. Kill! A man chooses! Dun dun dun! <laughs> okay, defeat Andrew Ryan. Thank you very much for that. Yes, would you kindly put that in? I suppose I say would you kindly first before activating the phrase. Never mind. Oh, obviously, right? <laughs> it's time to end this little masquerade. There ain't no Atlas kid. Never was. Selling my line of work takes on a variety of aliases. Hell, once I was even a Chinaman. I guess I owe you a little honesty. The name's Frank Fonte. I gotta say, I had a lot of business partners in my life, but you, of course, the fact that you were genetically conditioned to bark like a cocker spaniel when I said, would you kindly, might have had something to do with it, but still. Now, as soon as that machine finishes processing the genetic key you just fished off, Ryan, I'm gonna run Rapture tits to toes. You've been a pal, but you know what they say? Never. 
Get my wrench out quick. Whitlow go gone. There she is. Run. No point finding them. Um, help me? Okay. Saving. Welcome back, child. Welcome to the city where you were born. Um, thanks. You are angry at Fontaine, yes? Now you know the truth. You are his tool. Brought back to Rapture to save him. You have saved many of my little ones. I owe you a debt. While you sleep, I undo some of Fontaine's mental conditioning. His control is no longer complete, but he can still pull some very unpleasant strings. Remade your mind with many locks and keys. Fontaine has most of those keys, but not all. Su Chan designed your mind, taught Fontaine to control you. You might find answers in Su Chang's flat in Mercury Suite. 